so here we will discuss the relation between central moment and moment about the origin okay so what is mu n mu n is equal to expected value of x minus x bar whole power n okay so from the binomial theorem the x minus x bar whole power n can be expanded like this okay so this is the binomial expansion so what is the binomial expansion for x minus x bar whole power n is summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 power k n c k x power n minus 1 uh, x minus uh, x power n minus k x bar power k okay so that is the uh, binomial expansion okay this you have to remember okay so then what is the expected value of x minus x bar whole power n is nothing but the central moment it is equal to expected value of x minus x bar whole power n we will be replacing with this binomial theorem okay so it is summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 power k n c k x x power n minus k x bar power k okay now you see here what are the constants you have here in this expression minus 1 power k n c k x power uh, x bar power k are all the constants so the expected value is applied to only x power n minus k so the expected value will apply only to x power n minus k okay so what is x power n minus k x power n minus k is the expected value of x power n minus k is the uh, central moment if this is the moment about the origin what is the order of the moment here is n minus k so what is the order of the moment is n minus k and what is x bar is x bar is also the first moment about the origin okay so that is why the x bar here we have x bar no x bar we will be replacing with m1 so this will be replacing with m n minus k because this is the uh, moment about the origin of order n minus k okay so that is why so what is that uh, it will be replaced with m n minus k x bar will be replacing with m1 okay so this is the expression we use okay so this expression we use to find the central moment of a random variable when the moments about the origin are known so once we know the moments about the origin we can find the central moment by using this expression okay now we will be evaluating this expression for n is equal to 2. So if n is equal to 2, what is this? This will become mu 2. Mu 2 is equal to what? Summation k is equal to 0 to minus 1 power k 2 c k m1 square. So m2 minus k. So in the place of n. So what is that? n we are substituting 2 here. Okay. Now we just expand this summation now. So substitute k is equal to 0. So we'll be getting minus 1 power 0, 2c0, m1 power 0, m2, plus substitute k is equal to 1, minus 1 power 1, 2c1, m1, and here 2 minus 1. So see here it is 2 minus 1. So we get m1 only. Now substitute k is equal to 2. We get minus 1 square, minus 1 square, 2c2, m1 m1 square and m0 okay so we know that what is a 2c0 2c0 value is 1 and 2c2 value is also 1 so 2c1 2c1 value will be equal to what is that 2 factorial divided by 2 minus 1 factorial into 1 factorial so this value will be equal to 2 okay so what is that we'll be getting here we'll be getting m2 2 uh, m1 square okay plus m1 square into m0 okay so that is that we are getting the second central moment what is the second central moment is nothing but the variance is or no so and we know that what is m0 now m0 is zero the moment about the origin its value is one okay so that is why sigma x square value will be m2 minus m1 square okay similarly for n is equal to 3 if you expand this and substitute corresponding values, what is mu3? Mu3 is given as m3 minus 3m1 into m2 minus m1 square minus m1 square. Okay. So you don't remember this equation directly. So you remember the procedure. This is the main equation we have to use. So this is the equation we have to use. So you have to remember this equation 
then you substitute the corresponding n values and expand this equation. So like that you have to do. Okay. So you don't try to remember all the equations. Don't mug up all the equations, students. Whichever is important, that only you have to mug up. Okay. So and uh, finally, what is the relation we got? What is mu three? Mu three can be written as x cube bar minus 3x bar sigma x square minus x bar cube okay so this is the third central moment okay so like that we will be finding what is the relation between the central moment and moment about the origin okay so now we will find out what is q and skewness of uniform probability density function for the random variable x so this type of problems are very important students for this, you have to remember what is the uniform probability density function formula. Okay. So that formula you should remember. Okay. So, and in the previous cases, we have already solved this problem and we found that what is the mean value of uniform probability density function? The mean value of uniform probability density function x bar is equal to what? A plus B by 2. And variance also we have already found in the previous problems. The variance is given as a minus b squared by 12. Okay. So the skewness. What is the skewness? Third central moment. What is the relation? Third central moment relation. x cube bar minus 3x bar sigma x square minus x bar cube. This is the third central moment. And this will be substituting the corresponding values. So to find out x cube bar. So what is that? We have to find out third moment, third moment how we are finding integral minus infinity to plus infinity x cube fx of x dx, this is the formula we have to use, okay. So it is equal to, what is fx of x? It is 1 by b minus a and uh, the range of uh, uh, values will be a to b, no? It is a to b x cube dx, okay. Differentiate, integrate it and substitute the limits. So we got x cube bar is equal to b power 4 minus a power 4 by 4 into b minus a. Okay. So now we'll be finding what is the skewness. That is the third central moment is equal to x cube bar minus 3x bar sigma x square minus x bar cube. Okay. So we'll be substituting the corresponding values here. What is x bar? B plus, b plus a by 2. What is sigma x square? A minus b square by 12. Okay. And uh, sigma x bar. Sorry, x bar will be a plus b by 2 whole cube here. A x bar cube, no? So it is a plus b by 2 whole cube. Okay. Now after simplifying this, we finally got what is the skew value will be equal to 0. Since q is 0, what is skewness? Skewness is normalized skew value. Skewness is also 0. Okay, so this type of problems are very important. 